Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It's Kirsty Webb here from Aussie Yarny. Um, how are you all doing on this lovely day here in Australia? Well, lovely, I say lovely, but it's sort of overcast and been raining on and off and now it's sunny, so the it's mixed weather. Um, it's finally finished. I love it. It looks awesome. And yes, I have my mannequin now. I got that last week, so I put it up so you guys can have a look at that as well. Um, this is the shawl that I made. It's the Granny um, versus Environment Mix. The Granny Meets Virus Stitch um, from Fiber Spider. You guys probably can't see it too well, but I put it up on the mannequin so you guys can have an idea what it looks like. This is made out of. Um, it is Stitch Studio by Nicole Cotton Colors. Blue, blue, green, and orange. It's a fine white number two. Hundred percent cotton. A thousand ninety-three yards. Um, a thousand meters. Two hundred fifty grams. Eight point eight ounces. Recommended. Three point five knitting needle. Four millimeter crochet hook. Washing cold water only. But yeah, there's the details if you guys can see that. Probably backwards on me. But yeah, it took me a whole scheme to make this. Easy. Um, less time I thought that it was going to take. So yeah, I'm very happy with the end result. It's gorgeous. Um, it will be loved. It will be loved. For a birthday coming up. So I finally finished that to go with the rest of her present. Um... Yeah, so I'm making this dress, you guys can see. I will move the camera and show you. So, I did pull it apart. It was a dress I had previous. Excuse the noise. Um, the mannequin's new. It hasn't been moved much, so. It's not quite finished. I'm still sewing it together. Um... I will insert a video here of me showing it to you. So yeah, I've got a bit of restoring with that one to do. I mean, it's, it looks better in better condition than this one. Um, we had to bid for it, obviously. I wasn't going to go ahead with it because we were being outbidded. Um, I actually paid more for that one than I wanted for my other one, my singer. However, um, the other one turns into a proper table. This one that I have in here with me now does not. Um, so I need to buy some stuff for the other one if I can get it working. Um, I'm not too fussed with it at the moment. I've got other things I have to get done. I'm currently in the process of making myself a hat. I know in the winter is coming up for us, so it's probably a silly thing to be doing, but, um, I've been sewing this, um, making that hat, and I'm starting to do, um, some of the stuff very, very shortly. So, yeah, been busy. But anyway, on the way back from the auction... We were driving on the road to come home now because we live in the middle of nowhere. 
um, all the roads are in here are 100Ks. And it was a nice warm day. It was 25 degrees. We haven't had a warm day like that for quite a while. But as I said, we're coming into our spring very shortly. So the weather is warming up a little bit. Um, this week it's a bit cold, but it's definitely warming up. Um, as you can imagine, snakes have started to come out. Yes, there was a snake on the road. A 1.6 metre snake. We actually ran over it in the car. I'm not sure whether we killed it, but um, it's now dead. So. Um, it was a brown. It was a fully grown adult brown. Um, we're fine. It kind of scared hubby a fair bit. He, um, you know, too close to home and all that sort of thing. But you're in the middle of nowhere. There's farming around here. There's mice. There's going to be snakes. We just have to be aware of it. Um, watch where we're walking, wear boots, you know, jeans, the whole thing. Because they can't penetrate that sort of clothing and footwear. So yeah, we have snakes around here. Um, the only thing that concerns me is the dogs. The kids, no. They are a little bit scared of it um the thing is um roughly five years or so ago um i moved in to be with mum my dad passed away unexpectedly he was sick but we weren't expecting to pass away so quickly um moving on from that though we moved in with her to help and like you know help each other like we could save for a deposit for a house um and i could hop around the house while she was grieving for my dad um we got my dog back after being gone for a year. She went missing. She got out of the property um, the same time my parents decided to move up here. Moved into my mum's house. Um, the dog went missing. She got out, went missing for a nearly whole year. Um, we got her back, thank God. Um, I swear by microchipping. We got a phone call from a lady um, down in Meningi, which is about 40 minutes to an hour from here depending on how far she drive. Um, so they found our dog and I was disbelief like after you're not going to get an animal back. It's just not heard of unless they have microchipping apparently. So anyway, we got her back and then about two months later she got bitten by a brown and really died. So she's had a life. If my dog could talk, she would have a novel to write. Um, she's the sweetest dog. Like she's so sweet. Um, we won't have a full life out of her. We already have been told this by the vet. Um, when we got her back from being missing, she was no ticks, no fleas, nothing. She was just very malnourished. So she's very underweight, very skinny for a dog of her breed, which is a German, sorry, Siberian Husky Cross Malamute. So she was very skinny for that breed dog. Um, she just got her weight back on when she got bitten. So she was very lucky she didn't get bitten like after she got back because she wouldn't have survived it there's no way um but yeah she got bitten and then she like died so we had 24 hour care vet care from the local vet here um over the weekend so she went in on the friday came out on the monday she survived obviously but it nearly killed her so we have to be wary of that as well um we won't get a full life out of her but that's we've come to terms with that um, so yeah, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, I'm training for my new job, which, you know, can't talk about. It's hush hush. The type of work that is, there's a lot of privacy and stuff involved in it. So, um, it's just a bit of money for the next month until it finishes. It's only a very temporary job, which is okay because my main job, um, is being a mum and, um, crochet and knitting and sewing. So that's fine. It's just a bit of cash to make. Um, a bit of money and a bit more saving for our own place. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing all that. So yeah, I do have a bit of work to do. I have a few things I have to make. Well, I want to make. Um, but yeah, so we've got. I got another sewing machine. <laughs> no idea yet as what I'm going to do with them. Whether I'm going to restore them um, and then maybe on sell it, or whether I keep them both. I will keep one at least um i don't want to have the less power things i have the better um being in know where it's awesome it's quiet um to do your own thing but you need things to do um besides raising my children and you know farm work housework i just i love crafting and sewing is the next thing i'm going to be doing so um yeah, getting there. So, 
um i think that's it for today if you guys can like and subscribe that would be awesome i do want to put a little note in here my condolences to dina's family um i didn't know her personally for very long um sadly she passed away from covid and pneumonia um i do believe she had other health issues but um again i'm sorry um and yeah condolences to you and your family I wish I could be there to help, um, but no, I'm thinking of you guys in um, Australia and um, you will get through this. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. On a better note, um, I hope you guys enjoy your beautiful day today, weekend, afternoons, wherever you are in the world. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye. Because I, was, I knew that I was... mm -mm.